Kubas Lekavichus. I'm a software engineer in Vinted. I've been working here for about six months and I'm really happy with my experience so far. I started programming when I was 16 years old at, at, in school. Eventually I ended up in university and then my first job. My first programming language was C++. Then I had to learn C, which was very similar. Then I passed to C Sharp, which I really dearly loved, but my first job was a Java job. So it was really hard to convert myself, to transfer. Because on the internet, you could find like Java is an old language. It works in the JVM, it's a slow language. And it's very similar to what you read about Ruby. Like there are these sort of myths, like this language is this and that. And while you haven't tried it, while you're a young university student, it, it seems like those people on the internet, they speak the truth. They know what they're talking about. And when you delve into the language, you see that it has all sorts of colors. That there are bad examples of the usages and there are good examples. I think this notion could come from people's experiences with older versions of the language in legacy projects. Since that time, the language has progressed and it has new features. Maybe it has new libraries or something that improves the usage of it. Positive things, they don't get heard that much on the internet. You read so much stuff about Ruby, like it's so old, it's so slow, dynamicness of it, it's, it's not good. And I was really nervous, but the moment my thinking changed was, first thing, I opened the tutorial and the tutorial was very readable. I, I, I went through it and I understood that, okay, this might be useful on my tryout day. My fellow future colleague showed me the code and we went through a ticket, tried to solve a problem. And I saw that these people here, they work on real problems. They, they care for the code and the code is not a big pile of trash. The main thing about Ruby is that it has no type safeness which deters a lot of people, which makes you think that you, you're, you're, you're testing the code in production and it's, it's not a good practice. But with it comes a lot of freedom. Yeah, to use Ruby proper, properly in a company like Vinted, where we are growing and we have a ton of engineers, we have to have conventions, we have to have rules. There's also this freedom in Vinted where if, we're, if we see that there's an area where we can solve it in another language, we have the total freedom of implementing it in whatever we want. There are, there's Golang, there's Rust used in the company. It's, there's definitely freedom and I see engineers as smart engineers here where they can choose what, the right tool for the right job. I think seeing the code with my own eyes was the moment where I understood, okay, as an engineer, I wouldn't be afraid working with this kind of technology. There were also other factors. When I saw the posts on the internet, the engineering blog post, I got the idea that Vinted is a very open and transparent company. And why are they sharing what problems they had? Couldn't they be like competitive and not share that kind of information? And when I had the trial day, when I had talks with the people who were recruiting me, I understood it's just a part of the Vinted culture. Being open to one another, being transparent is one of the key ways of working here. The main challenges that we're solving at Vinted is the challenge of scale. How can we scale if we're such a fast growing company? We need to make our platform scalable and we, we need to make, make the code readable and scalable. Vinted as a platform started small. We had a dedicated platform in one country, a dedicated platform in another country. And now we see that this doesn't scale as an, an engineering solution. So now we're trying to manage these portals and every each of the, those merges, they, they require different rules because countries are different, different data is stored, etc., etc. When working in Vinted, you understand that people using our platform are the same people that I work with. I am a member. I care about my data. I care about it not leaking. I care about my data being used responsibly and not disclosed to the third parties. And having a hand in that makes me believe in the work that I do, makes me believe in the company. 